Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts. Um, on Saturday I went to an all-day crop, um, the place I go to remember when scrapbooking they were open from 8 a.m. to midnight. I didn't actually stay the whole time, I got tired, <laughs> the old lady that I am, but I was able to get two um, Christmas theme albums done. Now um, this was actually started out as a kit um, that I bought through that scrapbooking place um, with some of the papers that were already pre-cut but I had a lot of stuff of my own so um, let's get started I have two of them and I'm just going to go through them real briefly the the kit was uh, from Teresa Collins and it had a sheet of uh, pre-cut goodies like so and um, the instructions that came with the kit would tell you like where to put what tag and stuff like that so um, I actually like I said I I didn't really use her um, stuff a hundred percent so anyway um, she pre-cut a Christmas tree and a star and the paper that went on top of it and this is a, a red basil cardstock which I embossed with my um, Christmas tree embosser these came from the the kit um, and these this did as well and so did the paper however I wanted to point something out to you I found this home for the holidays recollections this I bought this last year and the paper is um, I'm gonna say almost exactly the same as what was in the Teresa Collins kit so it was helpful because then I could make extra pockets and things like that um, I still have a lot of it left so um, if I could come up with another mini idea, I think the the, the Christmas minis, and I'm going to try to get some Thanksgiving minis done for the fundraiser, so I think those are going to sell the most. Alright, so this is just black lace, and you want to put that down before you put your paper on, and I use score tape. Um, this is actually a Spellbinders die cut that's just a scallop, and I did it in the way that you would um, fold the paper and just lay the die cut slightly over the edge as you run it through and then it gives you like a card feature. Um, this is the paper that came with the kit so is the little uh, December word here. This came with the kit. Now if you notice it's kind of cool how she started the design where it, it's white paper and she did a green stripe. I really like that. Um, this green paper the basil came with it in this red and then this bling. She included a bunch of it in the kit. Um, but I did the the uh, card die cut and then I put some raffi on it and then I um, also cut like a smaller scallop square and inked it and put it on the inside. These little tab things um, I got from Big Lots, believe it or not. And the name brand is Me and My Big Ideas. And most of them fit right perfectly on the tab. They weren't uh, too big. Some of them I kind of trimmed off, but okay, that's that page. I, I tried to remember to ink like the white colored ones. That was with the um, Tim Holtz ink. Um, this one here, I used my envelope maker, which actually uh, was on its last leg, and I was talking to the owner, and she's going to get me a new one. So it's de it's defective. I don't know if you guys have seen my other video where I was complaining about my envelope maker, but they are going to get me a new one, so I'm happy about that. Um, this little button here is an AC More button, and again, believe it or not, I got this at Big Lots, and they're really really cute buttons. Uh, I had set them out, but I don't see them now. Um, they have disappeared. My buttons have disappeared. Uh, anyway, so those are AC Moore, and that's that, and then those are the, the letters, and then th but the paper here. Now, this technique, what you want to do is you want to take your score tape of any size, and you want to sprinkle some glitter on it, very fine glitter. This is Garnet from Martha Stewart. And then once you get the glitter on, you dust it off, and then you just push down on it. And look, it do it's nothing. It's not messy. I, I love it. Okay, so inside here, I'm still looking for flat magnets, because right now I'm using... Uh, pop dots to close the envelope, but inside here I just um, you know cut a square that was the size of the envelope and put a little area with um, the Happy Holidays sticker on the back so the person can journal about it 
and um, these are the stickers I got. These are also AC Moore. Kind of cool. And then that just slides in here, and then that one's exactly the same. Like I said, the flat magnets, they sell out so quickly. Okay, so there's a little Happy Holidays on the tag. Um, this is from Mini Books, and it's this cut right here. It's got the tag in it. I use this one a lot, actually. Uh, that one right there. And I think I cut it at three and a half. And I did this one at four and a half because I wanted it to be big on the page. This is just some um, fun, it's not ribbon, it's like a, a decorative string type thing that I used for the um, ties on that. This is just all her, her kit and then a little tag, December 25th there. Um, now this one, I have to tell you, they, they play a game when you scrapbook where they say it has like, like a list of stuff. And they say, do a layout using stickles and, um, you know, do something using circles. or So I was started playing that game as I was doing this album. And I did this these two circles. And um, one of them was to um, heat emboss on your project. And so I heat embossed this. And then this one here as well. And then I started thinking, wait a minute. They can journal, but there's no place to put pictures. So I cut some extra chipboard and um, added that to those two pages so that they could put pictures on it. And a little tag there. And then um, one of the things was um, do put a pinwheel on your project. So um, I got these straws at Bed Bath & Beyond. They're regular size, but I cut this one in half. Aren't they adorable? They're like candy canes. Anyway, um, so I did uh, pinwheels on my, my little project here. And um, this is the washi tape that I used. That was another thing that we were supposed to do. Put washi tape on your project. So, All right. Um, this is a stamp. I'm not really sure where I got this stamp. Um, I've had it forever. It just says memories on it. And I put a little, tucked a little thing in there so that they could uh, journal on the back of it. And I did some more glitter on the back of it too. And that is it on that one. This is um, that tool, which I love. That came in the kit. All right, I'm going to go on to the next one because it's similar but different. Um, this one just has the Charles Dickens um, saying on it that makes it different than the other one. Um, I put some little red sparkly bling on that. Same thing with the black ribbon. I did the same thing. I did not um, emboss this one. Um, this one here, I added some different paper to it. I used this, um, my mind's eye. And I love this paper so much that I am tempted to do a mini just using this paper. It's so cute. So what I did here was I have um, a big tag with a place for a, a picture. Um, this I got years ago, so I don't know where I got that from, but that's that. So I did a little tag here as well. There's for the picture and there's for the journaling. And um, this came with the kit. Um, this I die cut with my uh, spell binders. And um, I think that's it. This is part of the kit. And then I put little tags on this one as well. Did the same idea. Did the envelopes. Um, this here I got um, at Walmart, I believe, years ago. Um, I die cut this shape out. And this is a stamp. This is still the Teresa Collins paper. And a little tag here says Joyful. Um, this one's a little different now. I did, um, uh, what did I use to cut this out? I don't remember. I'll have to look through my, my tags. I did a stamp behind there. Um, gosh, uh, I should have been prepared, huh? And then this is just a photo mat, and I used my corner punch that you, um, it's an EK success. You just slide your picture down in there. It made a little side pocket on both sides. And another little, okay, and this one I used the Spellbinders die cut. And um, let me grab my new punch that I got. I'm absolutely loving this punch. It's the tab punch. <laughs> um, it, it, you, no matter what paper you have, you can cut out a tab. So um, I did, and that just pulls out like that. And then you put your journaling on the back. 
and slide that in. That's the same way on both sides, like that. And then that one's cute, right? Hot cocoa. And that's all Teresa Collins paper. That's that's all of it. Now, I used, um, let's see, it looks like I used from this paper pack. Um, this is October Afternoon. I got this from one of those uh, scrapbook daily deals. I got a bunch of, bunch of Christmas paper last year for that. And this is just little tags that they, um, you know, can put a picture on if they want. There you go. And I got these cute little um, candy corns at Michael's. I got a whole pack of them. So I put some right there because this page kind of looked plain to me. And then the same thing here. This is it. Now, um, this is a Spellbinders um, square die cut. And... Um, you know, there's nothing fancy about that, but I thought it was kind of neat as a picture frame. And then that is that album. So, like I said, these are both similar but different. Um, those are going to be for sale at the fundraiser. I had a lot of fun with these. I had a lot of fun that day, too. It feels so good to get out and just be able to, you know, create and not have phones ringing and dogs barking and um, family needing you. <laughs> so, anyway. Um... That's it. That's my two mini albums that I've done so far. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.